here today to ask you a simple question. What do you do when you see your children playing doctor with other children? There's another simple question. Actually, they're not that simple, are they? What do you do when your children masturbate in public? Or how about this one? What do you do when your children use sexually explicit language? I don't think there's a parent in the world who doesn't have to deal with these issues at one time or another. What do you do in all three cases? It's very simple. You tell the children, please don't do that. I don't want you to do that. In the case of masturbation, you can tell the children that masturbation is a private behavior that has to be done in private. And then you can tell them that the bedroom, your bedroom, is a private place. Sexually explicit language has a time and place. Parents do want to tell their children not to use explicit sexual language to hurt other people, even when other children laugh and think it's funny. On the other hand, parents do want their children to talk to them about sexuality. If the children have a question about sexuality or want more information about something, then parents certainly want their children to talk to them. If somebody is hurting their children sexually, parents want their children to tell them right away, and they do need to use a sexually explicit language. If the children are doing something sexual and not sure it's the right thing, then parents also want their children to talk things over with them. In each case, children are saying indirectly they want more information about sexuality, and this is your chance. Children do want to learn about sexuality, and parents are the best sex educators of their children. If you don't teach them about sexuality, they will learn from other children. And if they're lucky, the other children they learn from will have parents who will have spent time talking to their children about sexuality. But often, children learn from other children who don't have very good information themselves. And I think you would prefer that your children have good, accurate, healthy information about sexuality. One book that I recommend is Jan Hinman's a very touching book. There's also a video on YouTube based on a very touching book. There is a Jan Hinman Foundation that has a lot of very good information about children's sexual development. Another website that's very helpful is Stop It Now. The Sex Information Education Council of the United States also has a very good website for information about childhood sexuality and how parents can foster a healthy sexuality in their children. And the Skillman Center that's located in Detroit, Michigan also has a very good website that gives parents excellent information about how to talk to their children about sexuality to ensure that the children develop well sexually. Sexual development is as important as any other area of development, such as emotional development, cognitive development, language development, physical development, neurological development. Sexuality is an integral part of all of that. So, the next time your children surprise you and do things that you would rather they, that they not do, all you have to say is, please don't do that. This is what I do want you to do. And then give them a little lesson on human sexuality. So in each of these three examples that are typical, of childhood sexuality. The children are saying that they want information about sexuality. It may be an indirect way of saying that they want information about sexuality.